Well, this will be a lot of work behind the scenes to do in order to make this video. What's going on everybody? My name is Rogue Ren. Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing a little update video to OpenSeaFace GD uh, because there's been a lot of updates and I'm really excited to share them. Uh, if you caught my stream, I think it was actually this week on Wednesday, I did a little preview of my upcoming 3D model. That's not the final design for uh, what'll be coming, but uh, yeah, I was showing off some of the new stuff in OpenSeaFace GD. I say new stuff, but it's more just fixes to get it in a more usable state. And it's actually come along quite a well. That's you. Let's use words. It's come along quite a good ways. Uh, it's still got some quality of life issues because it's still beta alpha software. I don't know exactly what you would call it at the state it's in right now, but it's early development. It is really good though. It is in a somewhat usable state. If you don't mind tweaking a couple things manually and doing some little edits yourself, you can actually use it. Granted, it doesn't look the best because the mouth and eye blinking are currently locked to your camera's FPS. So yeah, that looks a little choppy. But with that, let's go ahead and head over to the desktop and I'll show you off, show you off, show off to you what's been changed. So here we are over on the desktop and you can see that I have my uh, home directory open. We're going to go down into the open CFace GD folder. Here we are and we're going to load it up. Here is the software and here we are. So we're going to go ahead and load a model real quick and give me just one second. OK, so here we are. We have the model. This is this is my old 3D model. As you can see, uh, one of the changes is uh, automatic A posing now, which is cool. Another thing is that uh, you now have outlines. This was actually not a problem with the uh, engine itself or with the program itself. This was a small issue with the what's what am I thinking of the port, the port of M tune for Godot which I found out that this thing's actually called Godot, not Godot. I sound like an idiot in my earlier videos. Oops. But yes, this is uh, this is it. This is oh, uh, come back here. This is our model. So yeah, here's how we're going to look. Um, you've got all your usual stuff. So if like rotate and align and all that. But the big thing is the pose option this actually works now so you can man manually manipulate the arms and such. So let's say I go down to right arm. Let's turn that on, apply properties. And now I can manually adjust the right arm by using the scroll wheel, which is cool. I can then do like the right elbow and manually adjust it that way. Um, I'm not going to really do that much with it. I may go ahead and do the left arm a little bit actually. Uh, so let's see left arm. There we go. Yeah, sure. That's done. And sometimes this happens where the, yes, the spine needs to be turned on, um, head needs to be turned on. I don't know where that is. There it is. Okay, so head and neck and apply properties. So yeah, sometimes you have to manually enable those to be mapped uh, out of the bone list. But after that point, uh, if I go ahead and turn off my current model, you'll be able to see it being used in action. I just realized that's been in the corner this whole time because I didn't check the scene before recording. So uh, sorry about that. I'm dumb. All right, but here we are. Here is the software. And if you are in the software and you hit tab, you can hide it. And now you can see I'm freely moving about. So if like swap between desktops, everything stays where it is. Yeah. And this is it. It works pretty well. As you can see, the mouth is kind of choppy and the blinking is. Also, the eyes don't really rotate correctly though this is being fixed soon uh, that part is currently being worked on and i think in the next update that will be fixed it looks really good i actually like how the tracking does with the mouth it's very accurate it gets all the information it needs it just needs to be smooth is all or even then it could just be sped up i think it runs at 12 right now just double it to 24 and it'd be amazing doesn't even need to be the full smooth 60. But this is how far it's come so far. It's actually in a usable state. You can 
do everything you need with it. It'll track you. It'll do everything you need. You can you can position yourself uh, as you need with like angling if you need to be facing this way or you can turn the other way if you need to and everything works uh, even on like uh, Linux and stuff you have the transparency capture as you can see by I don't exactly know how it's working you'd have to ask the developer himself but um, yeah no it works surprisingly well if you need it to let's turn that back forwards oop that's a little too okay there we go there we are okay that works but yeah this is the program is coming along very well you've also got uh presets which i currently don't have any set but you can make a new preset so test pose and then click save turn it on and now you have a um hotkey switchable thing you can say or i don't know if the hotkeys are working yet i'll have to double check that i don't think they are at the moment but yeah that way you can save it you can set it as default so that when you load it this is the post that loads instead this is where all this post positioning comes into play so say i want to make for example um left arm i want to make my left arm raised for some bizarre reason Pose, uh, no, presets, save preset. Um, now if I go back to pose and I move the arm back down, I go to presets, load the preset. Oh, it didn't work, hold on. Save, load. Oh, it didn't save for the pose. Ha, ah, I know what I'm doing, I swear. Okay, so now we want that up. Turn that off, apply again. Now we go to presets, left arm. Up, save, left arm up, save preset. All right, so I want to go back to this one. Uh, load preset, there we go. And now turn that one on and load preset, there we are. And now you can have hotkeys to switch between them. It's a little bit wonky at the moment. Um, it's not the best UI, but it's doable. You do have to learn it. Um, with that that is how everything is going to work that weird little what looked like that uh thing breaking at the beginning where i was turned sideways and upside down or whatever it is um as soon as you start up uh reading open c face with the program just click the space bar to reset everything and then it works but yeah the pose and the uh outline and the tracking sort of stuff has been probably the biggest improvement is the fact that this is actually somewhat usable i'm gonna change my pose back to the back to the other one there we go so i'm not sticking my arm up anymore but yeah this has been the biggest update it's really improved a lot i'm so <laughs> i'm so excited for this software and i hope you guys are too i know this isn't the longest video i've kind of been in a rush this past week been crazy busy hopefully uh next week will be better i will actually start having maybe two days off a week to work on videos which will be exciting I'm very excited to see that happen. I think the next big thing that's going to happen with uh, Open Sea Face is going to be expressions. Expressions are a big thing that we need after the eyes get locked in, tracked properly. But yeah, once the eyes get rotation, rotation locking or whatever it's called, I forgot the name of it already. I think expressions will probably be the next thing to come along, but apparently they're not as easy as I thought they were. So who knows actually? But yeah, if you like this project, uh, make sure you follow it over on GitHub and it's github.com slash un slash OpenSeaFaceGD. I will have a link to it down below. Also, if you really enjoy this project and you want to help it, uh, you submit code. It's fully open source. Submit code. Figure out ways to do it. We've had a couple people that have um, that have suggested some stuff and suggested some code to it, which has been really cool. I was super excited to see that. <laughs> um, I unfortunately don't know any code, so I don't know how to help contribute code to it. So what I've been doing is that I'm just taking every new update that happens, building that version and just seeing what breaks. Just I'm finding as many bugs as I can that can be crushed, which hopefully is helpful and not annoying. I have I hope I'm not annoying <laughs> you. And if you're watching this, am I annoying you? Please don't let me be annoying you. Let me know if I'm annoying you and I will stop. I will, I will be less annoying, please. <laughs> I don't know what this video has become. Oh man, I should probably should probably move to the outro, shouldn't I? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, 
Hideo. I said Hideo. How did I say Hideo? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of when I post new videos. Post every Friday. If you want to see more of me, you can check me out over at twitch.tv slash itsrogueren. I stream three to four times a week, playing all sorts of games, usually on Linux if you want to see that. Other times I'm capturing console games. Do all sorts of fun stuff there. Also, my chat bullies me because that's a thing that happens on Twitch. Don't be bullies, except if you want to bully me. Apparently that's okay. Don't die. It shouldn't be, but apparently it is. This got really weird. That's going to be it for today. Hope to see you all next time. Make sure to check out socials down below if you want to follow me on Twitter or check out my Discord. I will see you all next time. Peace out.